this could literally be the last week for three teams in a chance of making the playoffs. This is Sports Hour. This week as in before is the possible last week that certain teams will be even be able to make the playoffs. And there are a couple possibilities that some teams won't make the playoffs even after that. Currently, right now, the Indian and Falcons both need wins this week. If they don't, they're likely out of the playoffs. In fact, if if if, if any team took the the butt, like for example, Pirates, Pirates are right now six and three. If they if Pirates win and the Indians don't win, it actually doesn't really matter. Honestly, here's the thing: Pirates win, they're at home. Pirates win this week, it doesn't matter. So the Pirates must lose this week in order for the Indians to even make the playoffs. They are on the block by a long shot. As for the Falcons, they have a little bit more of a relay. The Angels can win their game, and the Falcons lose their game. The Falcons need to win, but if the Angels do win, it's not the end of the world for them because the, they do have another week to do it. However, as of right now, that is going to be a problem. The other team that's currently on the bottom right now is the Cardinals. The Cardinals have a chance to be eliminated from the playoff potential if they lose this week and the Panthers win. If the Panthers win this week and the Cardinals lose, it's over for them. There's no... My am showing my thing. That was join the. Uh... There we go. So just do one of this. There's a few possibilities here. All right, right now, Cardinals. If the Cardinals lose, they're out of the playoff possibilities. They can't make the playoffs at all. <laughs> There's no chance of them making the playoffs because there's going to be enough teams. Now, this does actually require a lot of other things. I've been For example, both the teams that are not, these two teams are currently division leaders. If two of these teams do win, then they're out. Cardinals losing this week would basically ensure them to possibly still stay in the possibility of the winning playoffs. As of right now, though, the Cardinals... Those are on the block. Are on block if simply happens. Like a lot of things have to happen for them. But right now, the current possibility that the three, uh, two of these teams must win in order for them to be ensured to be out of the playoffs. If two of these teams lose, or it's they still have a chance. But it's not going to be easy for them to eat anything. They can't even win the division right now. So they are currently looking only for the wildcard position. As for the A's and Falcons, 
They must win, otherwise they are eliminated from the playoffs, and they will be the first two teams make, to be eliminated. On the other side, we've got the Chargers are on the block and are very likely to be eliminated. Chargers must win this week, otherwise they are eliminated. There's no... There's no, there's no change to this because there's one, two, three, four, five teams right now that are six and three. They lose, they're out. It don't matter what happens because of six. Because there already be, there's already enough teams. Now these, I will point out, the ones that are bold right now are divisional leaders. If those teams win, it don't, it doesn't really, nothing really matters. Nothing will change off of that because the. Uh, but if Chargers do lose. They're out of the playoffs. After last week, last week's predictions here, here I went 17 in three, best of all of the players. Hit. I am currently still lead 130 to 50, 130 and 50, which is still in a very good position. It should. Pairs are currently still the leaders in 17 penalties throughout the entire season. Chargers still. The lowest of 132 at this point. Actually, I might be wrong. No, it is. Okay. All right. For the last week, we got some pretty tough games coming up for this week. And this could be the enders ending for a lot of some of these teams. The Tigers and the Legends will be playing. It's very highly predicted. The Legends are predicted by five to win this game. The Tigers, however, did come with a huge win last week. No, I'm sorry, that was right. Two weeks ago, they got demolished by the Panthers. But who who saw that coming? Everyone pretty much saw that coming. It was a absolute demolish. Demolish. I think Poppy did go over it, but that's just to be a context of. As for these two teams, two and seven versus five and four, both got a pretty good. Ch both I think have a decent chance of doing some well in this game, but I just don't see the Tigers winning this game. It's going to be a, a tough game for them to play at one o'clock on Saturday. I'm going to go with the Legends here, and I just do not see any way for them to win the game. Browns and the Bulldogs. Browns shocked everybody. They beat the Werewolves 92-75. to 75. All right. Then they play the Bulldogs this week, which have the same, they both have the same record of 3-6. Three, three I'll call it on Saturday. This is a pretty tough game. The only thing I have to go for is the Browns. Browns, who are 32nd and 33rd in the league right now, versus the Bulldogs, who are pretty high in defense and not so high in offense. I'm going to have to go with the Bulldogs winning this game, mostly because of their defensive rating, but this could be an either way game for that. Pirates and the Lions. Lions have done okay. They've done okay through the season. But they've had one of the games that's just going to be, they're kind of like, me, me, where who's win, who's going to lose. Uh, it's going to be a weird one for me to say which one of these teams is going to actually win. Uh, looking for the Lions here. As for the Lions, they did lose by one point last week, but they've actually done pretty well. They've gotten a pretty good high amount of points in their seasons versus the team they were facing. Lions has done decently over yet. This is actually going to be a tough game for me even to predict. I'm going to have to go with the Lions here. I think the Lions do have a better chance of winning the game. They are 31st in the league in both positions. 
but I don't think they're going to be as Pirates are first in defense and 16th in offense. So honestly, this could be a completely wrong prediction for me, but I'm going to go with the Lions winning this game. I think it's going to be tough. We got the 8th in and the Cats. 9 o'clock on Sunday. What? 9 o'clock a.m.? Wow. They're going to play an early game on Sunday. I think it's fairly obvious to me that there's just no chance. The Cats. Cats currently third in offense, 26th in defense, versus the eighth in, who are 11th in offense and 35th in defense. This could be a very offensive game, and I think this is going to be a very interesting one, but I think the Cats are going to win in O at the end. Westville and UNC, pretty similar records. Westville currently having a full, having an absolute even four four one versus the UNC, who has got a six and three right now. As for Westville, Westville's pretty low on the spectrum, while UNC is thirteenth and seventeenth. I have to go with UNC here. But I think this is going to be a very tough game. This could be a very high-scoring game as well. Colts and the Bobcats. Ugh. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think there's any chance the Bobcats lose this game. No, the Bobcats are way too are way too good. The Bobcats are sixth in defense, while they do not stand very high in offensive rank. And uh, neither did the Colts. The Colts defense, and this is just going to be a very interesting and 37th in the league in defense, and I think that's going to make what's deciding. I think the Colts will put up a good fight, but in the end, I don't think it's going to be a chance that the Colts are going to win that game. Dogs in the Hawks, I think we're going to go easily for me. The Hawks. Currently, seventh and fourth, seventh and fourteenth in the league. Six and three, very, very strong team. As for the dogs, yeah, they're fifteenth in the league in defense, but they're thirty eighth in offense. I don't think there's much of a question for me. Um, guys, guys have hopeful things for it, but there's I think the Hawks win this game. Lightning and Dolphins, similar records, 11 o'clock on Sunday. Yeah, this is a tough one for me to even go with. Lightning have 17th in defense, but are dead last in offense. Versus the Dolphins, who are pretty even. I'm going to go with the Dolphins here winning this game. It's going to be a tough matchup, though. In the end, I think it's going to end up coming down to a defensive battle. Foxes and the Ravens, two of the highest scoring teams in the league. The Foxes are being sixth in offense and ninth in defense. Versus you have the Ravens, who are kind of the middle, 25th and 27th. I didn't think it was that different. Uh, but this is going to be a scoring game. And I think it's going to come down to the being a tough matchup for these guys. I'm going to go with the Foxes winning this game because they're offensive bases. But this is, could be a very, very tough game. Angels and the Falcons. Unfortunately, I think Falcons are on, on their last leg. Falcons currently have a pretty good defense but are pretty low on their offensive rating. Angels, pretty high up there in, in both positions, kind of in the middle for defense. So I have to go with the Angels, and unfortunately, I think that means Falcons, I think you're going to be eliminated from the playoffs. I just don't see it working out for you. Sadly, that's going to be what I think is going to happen. The Jets. Ooh, Jets play at 5 o'clock, a late game. These Jets 
are currently fourth in the league and then 27th in the league in defense. Werewolves are very low on both sides. I have to go with the Jets winning this game. Jets have done really well over the last couple of weeks. I think the Jets will win this game. Although I think this could be an either way game. Dragons and the Bears. The Bears. Dragons currently 14th in the league in offense. 39th in defense. And that's just not going to do it for you. Bears are a very defensive team. They're not very high in either one of those scoring runs, but they've actually done really well in it. I think it's quite easily going to be the Bears to win this game. Beagles and the Tex. The other team that's <laughs> one. Tex currently in the even 19th and 20th, 20th and 19th position versus the Beagles, who are 5th and 30th. This could be a pretty interesting matchup. I'm going to say either one of these teams are trying to keep their head off homes alive, although it doesn't really make a difference at this point. I'm actually going to go with the Beagles losing this game, but it's going to be a very tough one for both of them. Warriors and the Packers. Warriors and the Packers. There's... Uh, I'm sorry, Warriors, Packers. Right now, the Warriors are number two in offense and 28th in defense. Packers, on the other hand, are 18th and 21st. This is going to be an interesting matchup. Unfortunately, I don't think the Packers are going to have enough to keep it in sync. I'm going to have to go with the Warriors winning this game, although I think the Packers are going to put up a good fight. Otters and Chargers. Yeah, Chargers might as well just go and hang up. They have the, one of the best, better offenses, but they have one of the worst defenses. As for the Otters, they have the second best defense, which is going to be what I think is going to win the game in the end, and 27th offense. Uh, I'm going to have to go with the Otters here. I don't think there's any chance that the Chargers are going to be able to come back, and unfortunately that's going to eliminate the Chargers from the playoffs. But in the end, I think that's going to be what's happening. Um, the Indians currently pretty low in the offensive position, but pretty high in the defensive position. Uh, 20, 11th in the defensive. However, they did not win a game yet, and unfortunately, Lynx is not going to be the team that they'll be able to do anything with. But the problem is the Lynx are not actually that good. I just don't see them winning this game. I'm going to go with Lynx winning this game. I think it will be a low-scoring game in the end. Yeah. Kings and Superman. Yeah, not, not even close to the game of the week. Uh, it's going to end up being the Kings, who I think that are actually... Okay, at this point, Kings are eighth and then 36th, while the Supermen, who are actually very good in defense, very good, and very good, and opposite options. I think it's gonna be an absolute one deciding it. I can't decide that the Kings are gonna be good enough to actually do this. I think the Kings are gonna just miss the playoffs in the end. We got a couple weeks to go for that, but I think it's gonna be the Superman winning the game. Stars and the Saints, three and six, a one versus three and six. Yeah, Stars are in a very strong position. Stars are third in the league, while well, they're in the in the middle of the league for receivers. As for the Saints, Saints, they're twelfth in the league in defense, but they're actually very bad in offense. I think the Stars win this game without question. Cardinals and Knights, the game will occur at 1 o'clock on Monday. Pretty interesting game for this game, but this is going to be an absolute blowout. I don't think the Cardinals are going to be able to do much with it. They're very low on both, pretty much both sides. They're in the middle for defense and one of the lower sides for offense, while the Knights 
are very high in both of those positions. I think the Knights win this game. Finally, the game of the week, which has not been yet determined on what day it's actually it's on. It is being handled at 3.30 on Monday. Panthers' second game at Bank of America Stadium, 3.30 Monday. This is a tough one for me to even see. The Panthers are 2-7. But I do think the Giants have probably one of the best chances of any team to actually beat them. While their point systems do not really show up well, the defense for the Panthers is not as high as it should be. I think the defense is better. However, the problem with my prediction here is that they, the Panthers do have an undefeated record, and I do not see them uh, doing what they need to. Yes. I have to go with this being the game uh, that they're going to have to they should win this game. And honestly, they have one of the best offenses versus the Giants. The Giants is not such a great offense. I think the Giants absolutely get demolished in this game, and that's my prediction for these weeks. Moving on for here. Looking at the playoffs for right now, the playoffs happening, and there's six games left. These would be the teams that would be in the playoffs. Um, I would say right now, these these teams really need to get some wins this week because they do not. If the Tigers, Giants, Dogs, Cardinals don't win this week, they're in a pretty. They're gonna. They're gonna be on the block. I'm pretty sure. If the Indians and Chargers, they're gonna be out of the playoffs. So they must win this week. Otherwise, I'm afraid that they're going to be out of the playoffs. And there's not too much chance. As of right now, Tangley, Tangley, any the dogs can still win the division. At least I believe that is the, the case. Let me have a look and find that out. Never mind. They cannot win the division. <laughs> they are actually. The only way they can actually make the playoffs right now is if they win out. Right? Because they have to go. They have to. They can go currently 9 and 7. Which would be tied if the Panthers lose every game. And because the Dogs have already lost two games against the Panthers, they would have the advantage right now. That's the only situation in the divisions where a team might actually be there. Normally what happens is if whoever has the highest score point would win it. But the Panthers win one more game. That means the Panthers win this week against the Giants. The Panthers will clinch a playoff spot. Believe it or not. It's very difficult to do that, but they will clinch it. Not the first. They will not clinch the first round by because there's two teams that there's too many teams that have the possibility of still doing it. But if they can win this week, barring ooh, this one got ten, we'll make it so it'd be three. If they win this week, the Panthers will clinch a playoff spot. That's the for sure. As for the Foxes, they're going to have a hard time. They're still going to have them because they've still got three teams that could potentially clinch the division. Uh, as for the Tigers and Giants, they're probably out if they lose this week. Although, officially, if the Tigers or Giants, as long as Tigers or Giants win out and the Foxes lose out, along with the Ravens and because lose winning no more than two games, Ravens have to win no more than one game, they could potentially still clinch the division it would be very difficult for any of those teams to do it because if they lose, they can't clinch the division. They can still make the playoffs, though. As for the, the Pirates division, they're all pretty much in the AFC except for the Indians. The Indians are on the block. Losing this week would mean that they would be out of the playoffs. 
no matter what happens, because the pirates would still would be would be able to make a, would take them out with them. Um, that's the NBO West. Let's make sure here. And if look at this. The NBA West is the Bears, the Bucks. Um, they still have to play. The, they've played the Kings twice already, so the Kings can't win it, no matter what happens. Um, they've played. Who else is in the division? Uh, they have the Bears. They've only played the Bears once. They and they actually they lost that game. Did they, did they lose that game? One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm a little confused here because it looks like they. And three. No, they must have won that game. That's not. I must have been inversed. Look at that ad break. Um, looking at the other one here, dragons. They've played the Dragons once. They will play them the last week. So, officially, with the Dragons winning out, they could do it. But it would be difficult to do that. Anyways, as for the Indians, there's no chance that they clinch the division at this point. Unless they win out and, the, and every other team has to lose out. Which isn't possible because... So actually, I think the the Indians are actually eliminated from the playoffs if they lose this week. Period. And or two of these teams win this week. It, it, it's gonna be interesting for that one. As for the Angels, the, the, it was still open. There's just nothing we can do about that one. As for the Leland Cats, Leland Cats are could in fish of fury take. Have already taken away the ability for the Indians for the eighth, not the Indians, the eighth in to win the division. Although they still can make the playoffs because they can still, with six wins, they can go eight and seven, which would be better than three of the teams at least. It's uh, so Leland Cats still in, and they have to play the Panthers in Week 15, which is a long way away still. Uh, as for the Warriors. Everyone's still pretty much in the playoffs in that one for the AFC, ABL South. Um, is for the ABL West. I think the Chargers are actually eliminated from making, are eliminated from getting the th division. They will be eliminated if they lose this week from the playoffs if they don't win. As for the this division, um, anyone's still available. UNC currently has it, but not much. As for the Colts, Colts would have to win out and have an eight and seven record. They could potentially lose one game and everyone else losing. But I think they will play. They play. There's some many teams that play each other. At some point there, let's see. Maybe go east. Bobcats. Tech still play the Colts, but that's not me. That's not me. It's if UNC UNC plays the Colts still, um, they'll have to, the Colts to play the Texas twice. So actually, uh, there's no potential way the Colts can win the division. They can make the playoffs, but as for the division, it's pretty much out of the game. That's all for Sports Hour. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode next week, and we'll see who it is that will take. It, and if anyone's eliminated from the playoffs, I think it's probably going to happen.